Welcome back to my channel, Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 2 from exercise 11.4, chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry. In my previous videos, I have completed examples 1 to 15, exercises 11.1 to 11.3, and question 1 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. And also do watch this video till the end so that I can make more such videos for you guys. Now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 2 from exercise 11.4, chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry says, write all the other trigonometric ratios of angle A in terms of secant A. So other than secant A, we have to consider all the other trigonometric ratios that is sine, cos, tan, cot and cosecant and write them in terms of secant A. So this question is very much similar to our previous question that is question number 1. So here again we are going to use our trigonometric identities and the relationship between our trigonometric ratios to solve this problem. So first let us consider our first trigonometric ratio that is sine and write it in terms of secant. So sine A. Here in this table you cannot find out any direct relationship between sine and secant. But secant A is equal to 1 by cos A. So we will write sine in terms of cos by using our first trigonometric identity that is cos square A plus sine square A is equal to 1. So let us write down here the uh, identity we are using that is cos square A plus sine square A is equal to 1. Now here we will find out the sine A value by sending this cos square A to right hand side. So sine square A is equal to 1 minus cos square a, right? So we will take the square root on both the sides and find out the value of sin a. So here square and square root term will get cancelled. So we will be left with sin a is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square a. So we got the value of sin a. And also we know from the table that cos a can be written as 1 by secant a, right? So, we will substitute here the value of cos a as 1 by secant a. So, in this way, we will write sin a in terms of secant a. So, this will be square root of 1 minus 1 by secant a, the whole square. So, this will be square root of 1 minus 1 square will be 1 divided by secant a, the whole square will be secant square a, right? So, here we can take the LCM. So, here our LCM will be secant square a. So, secant square a into 1 will be secant square a minus 1. So, again, if we separate the square root for numerator and denominator, numerator stay as it is, that is square root of secant square a minus 1 divided by Square root of secant square a will be here. Square root and square term will get cancelled. And the denominator will be just secant a. So this is the value of sine a which we have expressed in terms of secant a. Now our next trigonometric ratio is cos a. So here if you look at the relationship between cos and secant, cos a can be directly written as 1 by secant a. So there is a direct relationship between cos and secant that is cos a is equal to 1 by secant a. Now we can go to the next trigonometric ratio that is tan a. Now how do we write tan in terms of secant? So here again for writing tan in terms of secant we can use a second trigonometric identity that is 1 plus tan square a is equal to secant square a. Right? So we will use this identity that is 1 plus tan square a is equal to secant square a. So let us find out the value of tan a by sending this 1 to right hand side. So you get tan square a is equal to secant square a minus 1 or tan a can be written as by taking the square root on both the sides. So here square and square root will get cancelled. So tan a is equal to square root of secant square a minus 1. Right, so this is how we find out the value of tan A in terms of secant. Now next trigonometric ratio is cosecant. So here cosecant A is nothing but 
So cosecant A is equal to 1 by sine A, right? So we have already found out the value of sine A. So taking the reciprocal of sine will give you the value of cosecant in terms of secant, right? So you can write here cosecant A is equal to 1 by sine A, right? So what is the value of sine A we found out? So cosecant A can be take, written as the reciprocal of sine A. So that will be secant A divided by square root of secant square A minus 1. Right? So this is the value of cosecant A in terms of secant A again. Now our next trigonometric ratio is cot. So what is the relationship between cot and secant? Cot A can be written as 1 by tan A. Now since we have already found out the value of tan A, by taking the reciprocal of tan A, we can write the value of cot A. So we can write cot A is 1 by tan A. Right? So taking the reciprocal of tan A will be cot A is equal to 1 divided by square root of secant square A minus 1. So this is how we express or write all the trigonometric ratios in term of secant A. So this is how we solve this problem using our trigonometric identities and relationship between our trigonometric ratios. So if you have any further doubts, you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I will be solving question number 3 from exercise 11.4, chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry. So till then do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I will be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 11 introduction to trigonometry shown on the screen. Thank you.